to make this square program more efficient and easy to edit using loops. A loop repeats a series of blocks as many times as you want. Instead of using 8 blocks, you can write the same square program using only 4 blocks. To reduce the number of blocks, start by deleting all but one of the roll and delay blocks. You can select more than one by single tapping a block, tap group select, pull to choose the blocks to remove, and then drag them to the trash. Now you can add a loop. Open the controls category. Control blocks, also known as control flow, allow you to change the flow of a program and add conditional logic around the blocks. Drag the loop block to the canvas. A loop enables you to nest other blocks within it and repeat those blocks as many times as you want. Now you can drag the existing roll and delay blocks inside the loop like this, and then choose the number of loops you want to repeat. For the square, you have four sides, so you want this loop to repeat four times. The last thing you need is a method to change the heading and angle on each side. You will use what's called an operator for this. An operator is a math statement that changes a number like addition, multiplication, or division. In this case, for each side of the square, you simply want to add 90 degrees to the heading angle each time you repeat the loop. So, go to Operators category, select Add, and drag it into the Heading field. You can now see there are two fields to define the heading angle instead of just one. Now go to the Sensors category, select Heading, and drag it to the left side of the operator statement. Tap on the bubble to the right of the plus sign and enter 90 for 90 degrees. This statement reads as, add 90 degrees to the current heading angle each time through the loop, just like you manually built in your first square program. Because this is a more complicated line of code, programmers often use comments to annotate what their code does so others can understand it. You can add comments to this block by single tapping. Tap the comment and leave a comment like, adds 90 degrees to the heading each time through the loop. And then notice, when you go to code view, the comment is in the code. Time to run the program. Okay, same setup as last time. Place Sphero on the ground, aim it, then hit the start button. Your robot should perform the same square as the first one you made. But wait, it looks like it's turning to the right, or 90 degrees first, instead of going straight at zero degrees. Do you know how to fix this? You can fix it by adding a block before the loop starts, which sets the initial heading to 270 degrees. That way, the first time it runs the loop, the heading angle will equal 270 plus 90 equals 360 degrees, which points the same direction as 0 degrees or straight forward. Go to the Movement category and drag a heading block to the canvas. Set it to 270 degrees. Test your new program and make sure it works. Not only is writing the square this way more efficient in blocks, but it's also more powerful. For example, if you wanted to have the square repeat two times, you could change the loop count to eight and not have to add any blocks at all. If you wanted to do this with the first approach to drawing a square, it would end up using 16 blocks and take you much longer. Now you're starting to see why writing an efficient program can be really important and save time. Mm -hmm.